With Jughead action just around the corner, we're going to take a look at only the best with one of the best, trainer Joe Anderson. And actually, Joe, I say one of the best. You've been in it a long, long time and certainly have shifted your focus a lot from just the grind of overnight racing to a lot of stakes conditioning. How is that different for you? Well, it, it is a little bit different for me. I, I've always loved just being a trainer. I always really put driving secondary. I had to drive before. Now that I have my son, He's starting a career in driving. I've kind of taken a back seat to that, and I, I'm enjoying being the trainer and watching him perform on a daily basis. Well, he's going to be in action in the second division, and we'll talk about him very shortly. With only the best, she has eight victories, I believe, and it looks like she's been having a winning string, yet she's looked at as somewhat of an outsider in this race. Why? Well, I think a lot of it is she, she shows on her program she is void of early speed, and obviously we're racing on a half-mile track here. Speed is very important early here. So we're going to have to hope for a very fast pace up front. We're going to be basically at the mercy of the pace. If we get a quick first half, I think that will put us right in the ball game. But she's a very, very good filly. She's probably a little bit better on the big tracks, but I look for a good performance today out of her. Well, as a driver, you were very competitive yourself and notched a number of wins. When you take the role of watching on the sidelines on a day like today, what does it do to you? Well, there is anxiety. and But at the same time, I, I feel that I can kind of do what I do best. I think that is training and leaving the driving now that I'm not driving as much as I used to. I don't consider myself to be as sharp. And I think I'm better off having guys like John Campbell drive my horses or an Eric Ledford or even my son. What did you tell John Campbell just before they went to post? Well, that basically he knows the filly. He has seen her race up in Canada. And, you know, the biggest thing we've got up against her is that we are a little bit void of early speed. Hopefully we're going to get a fast pace. If the fast pace comes on when he's ready to rock and roll, that's what I told him. Just go do it and hope for the best. All right, let's turn the page and talk about the next division, which Ryan Anderson, your son, who I'm sure you're very proud of, is handling Popcorn Penny. Popcorn Penny is a, an extremely good filly. She's got a lot of gate speed. She's drawn a favorable position. Uh, Ryan has never raced over this track before, but she's coming off in a very, very impressive win at Maywood Park where she won in 152 flat. And I think that if he gets her out of the gate good, the footing's good, she likes the track, and he doesn't get a lot of pressure early, I look for a, a, a big effort out of her today. Well, she's very lightly raced, didn't start last season. And what about her level of maturity? Well, she's still maturing. She's kind of a big filly, but she's a great gated filly. And we didn't race her as a two-year-old. We stopped with her. We let her mature. She's had a limited stake schedule this year, and we're kind of picking our spots with her. We're looking really down the road. We think she's going to be a, a top-class mare as a four-year-old, and uh, but we're very happy with where she is at this point. How old is Ryan now, and what makes you give him your vote of confidence on maybe perhaps his level of maturity? Well, Ryan just turned 20, and he's obviously been around horses a long time because he's been with me, and he's put his time in. He's a worker. He gets up in the morning, and he, he, he's, he's just a good boy, and I, we're, we're just very proud of him because of that, but that he does have a talent for it. And if it didn't work out, and maybe, hey, the horses weren't going quite as good for him, obviously, I'd have to go in another direction. But the way he's been going now, I think his future is very bright. Is this his biggest assignment? Uh, well, it's one of them. He, last Saturday night, he won a $320,000 race. At, at Balmoral Park from the Tin Hall, and uh, it was a great drive, a great performance, and uh, we were just very proud that night of him. Sounds like we'll hear more of the Anderson family in Young Ryan. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Back over.